Hello and welcome to La Rosa Reads. I'm Denise LaRosa and this is Gianna and this is Natalie and we are here to reunite to talk about what the LaRosa girls have been reading and plan to read. So let's talk books. Yay! I am so excited to have our daughters here with us today because it's been a while, right? And the La Rosa girls are in demand. Some of you have been asking like, where are your girls? We hope to see your daughters soon. Well, you had back to school stuff going on, right? Yeah. And we all had to kind of adjust to the routine, get things going. I had a little dental emergency, which delayed um, recording. I think somebody had the sniffles. You know, life happened. But we're here now, and first we're going to talk about what the La Rosa girls were required to read for the summer through their school, how do they feel about that read, and then we'll talk about the cozy reads that they're diving into as we speak. And that's why we're wearing our pajamas for cozy reads, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is why y'all are so cozy. Cozy, comfortable uh -huh. in my skin. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I'm obsessed with Beyonce's song, Cozy. Is it safe to say, girls, I'm obsessed with that song? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I sound pretty good when I sing it, but... Mm -mm, no, no. Uh. Look, let's talk books and stop talking about my singing. We have some surprises for you um, in our next couple of La Rosa Reads videos. We thought it would be fun to sneak in something for you to spy throughout the video. So, you have to pay attention and you will be looking for... Gianna's mini me Barbie doll. So if you spy it, let us know when in the video you spot it. So you guys had required summer reads and I love that about your school that from third grade all the way up to 12th grade there are required summer reads. And Gianna, tell us what your book was and what it was about. So my book was blended and it was about um, this girl and her mom is white and her dad is black and they got in a divorce and so every week she has to like go to like every other week she has to go to her mom's house and then she has to go to her dad's and her mom's and her dad's and then they got together with people of their race and then um, there was um, a lot of crazy stuff that happened and the end is pretty shocking. Just gonna say that. <laughs> wow. So it ended up being quite the read for you. So what are your personal thoughts about it? Did you like it, love it, hated it? Like, what's um, on your mind? So I loved it. It's like my second favorite book. The only reason why it didn't reach my first favorite book is because the ending was kind of shocking and it made me think stupid. about a lot of things, mm -hmm. and I don't like thinking about a lot of things, like about life and all that stuff. Cause and it just like know. wasn't what you expected it to be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So I appreciate you sharing what you read and your thoughts about it. Natalie, what did you read? My love bug. I read Donovan's Word Jar. Donovan's Word Jar! Yay! Tell us what Donovan's Word Jar is about. It's about this boy whose name is Donovan, of course, and he likes collecting words and he puts them in a jar and runs out of space and then just does something with it. Okay. Um, and does that seem boring to you? Oh. Ooh. So, that's a <laughs> trick question. Let's turn the tables around to you since this was your reading experience, Natalie. Um, tell us your opinion, your thoughts on Donovan's Word Jar. Did you like it, hate it, love it, and why? So, I do not like it. One single bit. Oh. And it, why not? Because the story was boring. Oh. And because to me the pictures looked like there was a lot of stuff going on. I couldn't tell what was happening. <laughs> And also, what about whatever you said? What do you, you know. Yeah, so there were some prompts that I'm trying to help 
our daughters to like not just consume the book but kind of have deeper thoughts about it and reflection so there's a wonderful guide um, that some uh, an educator at our school gave with some general questions for any fictional piece and so after reading the several chapters I was like Natalie as you're reading Donovan's word jar what do you see smell hear and feel and what was your response Mm. I hear the words coming out of my mouth. I feel the book in my hands. I see the pictures in the book. Oh, well, no. I see the words in the book. And I smell nothing but air. <laughs> and I... Wait, what was that? I think you covered quite a bit for us to get the idea that um, you had no desire to dive deep into Donovan's word jar. I just don't <laughs> like the book. Book. It was hilarious. Okay. So, Natalie, let's not end on a sad note with Donovan's Word Jar. Since you've made it clear, very clear, crystal clear, what you don't like about Donovan's Word Jar, what do you like in a book? Like, what could have happened in Donovan's Word Jar to make it a book that Natalie likes? Well, to make it a book that I would like. I wouldn't like it to be about people putting words in a jar. Okay. Oh, wow. I would like it to be like some sort of adventure at least. Okay. Because the whole book, like, Donovan's just putting words in a jar, and he runs out of space and starts asking people what to do with it, and then goes in, and then he, and then he sees people are, are I don't know, I can't swim. So, and he okay. sees people are doing something. And then he does something, and then um, he they all figure out something, and then they do something at the end. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So interesting. I so I love how you shared. You would have preferred the book to have some adventure elements. This wasn't an adventurous book. Didn't take you on an adventurous journey. Interesting. So what are you guys reading now? Some cozy reads. Um, Gianna, you just recently came back from a sleepaway camp trip, and so you took this book with you. Tell us about this cozy read that you're still reading. So it's called Amethyst, Princess of Gemworld, and so this is Amaya, who is the princess of the Amethyst Kingdom, and this is her best friend, Autumn. And so she, as a little kid, was very naughty. And so she kind of destroyed this huge thing that I'm not going to say yet. And so her mom, like, she usually gets grounded. But her mom was like, this, like, being locked up in her room for, like, a week isn't good enough. So I'm sending you to Earth. They're from outer space. Mm. I'm sending you to Earth, and I'll contact you in a week and you'll come back in a week. Now, what I think, she's a horrible mother. Who would send their child to a different universe or to a different planet? Just to punish them. Just to punish them. Nobody. Fair enough. Who should do that? So something ended up going wrong and she got stuck at Earth for three years. Mm. And um, that's all I can say right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it looks like you're a little more than halfway through, and um, I'm just thrilled that this is a book that you enjoy, because you guys have had some reading slumps, and that's very natural and normal and okay, and I feel like this book is getting you out of your slump, right? Yes. Oh, also, over the three years, she had forgotten that she was the Princess of Gemworld. Oh. So, because well. her, because like her, like whenever she goes to the poor through the portal she looks different and so she didn't know that she was from a different planet basically Mm. (laughs) and that she was the princess of that different planet and miss la rosa miss la rosa (laughs) yes i have a question for you um does her mom know anything about this well i can't say because there's a um it's a spoiler so, oh, yeah. So she also has a brother and a dad, and also so she forgets. Like I was saying, like she forgets that she's from a different planet, and so over the three years, she meet, meets her. 
she makes friends with Autumn, which is her friend. And Autumn's just a regular girl. She's, like, not extraterrestrial or whatever that mm-hmm. word is. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going nice. on. Nice. Natalie, what's your cozy read? One of my favorite books, Diary for Begin. Yay, Wrecking Ball. Okay. I <laughs> love you. So tell us, what is this book about? What's happening? So it's pretty much like not about like one topic. It's just mm-hmm. like about this dude's life. Mm-hmm. And so pretty much at the beginning, he sets up a yard sale mm-hmm. for all his old stuff that he had before. And in the next part, I kind of forget what that is, so let's skip that. Nope. And... <laughs> For the third part, um, okay, so, and I think it's like the third or fourth part, um, mm-hmm. it, it, like their aunt Reba, Reba, mm-hmm. something get like, pass away, and they go to the funeral, but they realize they're at the wrong funeral. Oh, oh. gosh, that is awful. That's absolutely awful. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so then they have to. So they, then they have to go back. So they. So they were at like the right funeral at the right time, but they were just at the. Like, the wrong person that died. Yeah. So they're at the right funeral home, just the wrong person. person. Okay. <laughs> Would be horrible. You love Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So I take it like when I think of all the things that you were looking for in Donovan's Word Jar that you didn't get you love adventure so is it safe to say all the diary of a wimpy kid books are adventurous to you these books are like it's like sort of adventurous sort of not it's mm-hmm. just like yeah okay and i like that so what do you like about diary of a wimpy kid because natalie you are like all over these books i just really like that it's funny because um, in this one part of the story, here, this part is really quick, I realized that was actually what the grout would want me to think, and I wondered if the grout was actually pretending to be mom. At, so from that point on, I kept my bedroom door locked just in case. I've cut up some orange slices for you, sweetie. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Interesting. I have some orange slices for you. <laughs> awesome. And I have like quick voices for it. Yeah. Because like, I like it. That's so cool. So I'm glad that Diary for Wimpy Kid is getting you out of your reading slump. Now, I need a cozy read, girls. And I just finished a book, which means I'm ready for a next book. So over there on the love seat are my books that I have chosen for my October TBR. I want you to pick out which book you think I should read next. Mm -hmm. So, Natalie, G, close your eyes and no cheating. Natalie, go point to a book. All right, Natalie, close your eyes. G, go carefully and point at a book. All right, girlies. Natalie selected... Razor blade tears. Murder. <laughs> you really love murder, which scares me. Um, yes. And Gianna chose witchful thinking. I knew she would choose that one. I was right this entire time. I must say, you guys, this is very on brand. Um, Nally selection and Gianna selection. <laughs> Just saying. So I get to choose, and you are you know how I roll girls. I am going to choose one that does not mean that I love one of you more than the other. I'm going off of my mood, right? Yes. I think I know which one you're going to choose. I'm going to start with witchful thinking. And then I promise I'll go, even though there's some other books in that October TBR I want, I promise I'll go straight to Razor Blade Tears. Okay? Because this is really heavy. I and thought, I want to start the month with something a little lighter and then go heavy and then light and heavy and light and heavy. So. I thought you'd choose Razor Blade Tears. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I'm cheating. Well, anywho, we hope that you enjoyed being reunited with the La Rosa Girls. Please stick around, check out some more of our La Rosa Girls videos, and until next time, happy reading. Bye.